Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Your back chairs with me visit a fancy that ex-friend she heard. They were once best friends and these two were envy of many in the industry. The your back chairs with me has accused that former best friend she heard that she will inject to in private and act like nothing happened in the public. This is just coming today as reported by Kemi Filani. So what really caused this one's best friend's fight? Well, nothing really comes up in the media. But then the two best friends had a problem when it came to bedding messages. It was actually Wumi Torella who brought the attention of the public to their feud. And Sheyi Edu on her own part has been keeping silent following the silent route on social media platforms. She has been avoiding confrontation on social media. And even during the heat of their feud, Wumi Torella spoke on reconciliation with Toye Hebram and admits not being close to her former best friend, she is. Even though at first Wumi Torella tried to cover up that they had problems and in an interview when she spoke about their issue, opening up about their relationship, she said that it's not like that, I'm married. Shai is also married and there's COVID-19 and this time really helps marriages. Most husbands and wives are now more bonded and in that way, you just have to excuse. But trust me, there is nothing alarming. It's just husband and wife thing. And feel the friend is no longer leading. I don't want to go deep, but we are all fine and we are all together. But this was all she revealed in her interview. On to it was her birthday and she came out to drag she heard that she heard only referred to her online as a beautiful soul on her birthday while refusing to celebrate her offline. And today, as social media continues to buzz with several reactions over the fight between the Nigerian star. Tiwa Savage and Shei Shei. This she back to Mitorella dropped her former best friend she had. This comes after a video of Tiwa Savage and Shei Shei fighting dirty at the salon over a few they had two years ago surfaced online. And according to Tiwa Savage, she had exchanged pleasant trees with her at the salon, but was not comfortable following Shei's negative comments about her two years ago and blocking her on social media. While commenting on the blog, Mitorella revealed her best friend she had, speaks ill about people in private an act has nothing has happened in public and this was what she wrote they will inject you in private then act like nothing happened in public is her name Sheyi? so we need to realize we've visited a few day game with Sheyi and a former best friend today for people who may be asking who is we to realize who is Sheyi Edo Sheyi Edo is also a popular Yoruba actress who is also known as I'm Shy and she's married to the Yoruba actor Adini Jones. For Mumitorella, she is also a star Yoruba actress. Please stay with us for a short but interesting biography of Mumitorella. Undeniably, Mumitorella is a bunch of talent and she's blessed with good looks and brain. She joined the movie industry a few years ago and within a short while she became a household name. I wrote in the movie Ajiwomi, which happens to be her very first movie production, shot her into the limelight. Since then, she has remained on top of her game. She was born in Lagos State on July 11, 1988, into a family of four, but then she's a native of Ogun State. And currently, she's in her 30s. For education, she had a primary education in Lagos State and also a secondary school education before she proceeded to Lagos State University. So she had a primary, secondary, and tertiary education in Lagos State. And in Lagos State University, she had a diploma before she proceeded to University of Illinois, where she studied linguistics and obtained a Bachelor of Arts degree. Growing up, Umitorella's father was a disciplinary to the core and he was not based in Nigeria. So whenever Miss Father visits Nigeria from the US, she used to avoid going to locations. She pretended for a while, and since he was not based in Nigeria and does not watch Nigerian movies, her father had no idea that his daughter was already into acting. Until some years ago, when his friends started seeing she on TV, I started telling him that he saw his daughter on television. He then called his daughter and asked if she truly wanted to be a professional actress. Eventually, he gave an advice to me as a father since she was a child. Mumi Torella sadly lost her mother at a very young age, so she was raised by her grandmother and her father. She started acting professionally in the year 2009 when she joined Odo Fakakos and broke out in Uta. Odo Fakakos is a Yoruba theater organization founded by Inka Koji, Tawa Azami Gugu, Habe Larry, Sonia Ali, and Razaka Jao. Since then, she has become a top Yoruba actress, and within four years in the movie industry, she started producing her own movies. And over this year, she has also starred in over 100 movies. She has starred in movies like Any War, Baba Tunde Shana, Follow and Shana, The Wedding Ring, The Ring, Atori Shea, Alai Lira, My Ex, Ex Fiancé, and Dobu Dobu, just to mention a few of them. She has also produced at least 30 movies so far, including Eto Obiwe, Ajewumi, My Past, and Lurititi. 
just to mention a few of them. Also today, she's a multiple award-winning actress. In 2015, she won the award for Most Promising Actor, the Elite Award, and was nominated for Revolution of the Year at the Best of Hollywood Awards. In 2018, she won the fastest rising actress in the category at City People Awards. Women is truly one of the hottest actresses right now, and she's often seen as being blunt. Also, in this profession, Mumitoriala says that she looks up to people at the top, people that are excellent in their role deliveries. She learns from the likes of Funka Kindele Bulu, Shola Shubo Ali, Joker Silva, and a host of others. She explained that this set of people take up different roles, whether the school girl, old women, different roles, and they deliver their roles perfectly. And to observing this test experience, Mumi also does her own research. She carries out research on each role she's about to play. And on if a natural asset paid free for in this movie industry, she was asked this in an interview and in her words, actually in a way, but it's not really all about that. Like what I said initially, most people saw the inner beauty I had, though my look has helped, but not at all times. It is really about what you have upstairs. The outer beauty is just an added advantage. Also, Wumi specifically stated in an interview that the challenge she has experienced in this movie industry is more on the production side. There have been lots of ups and downs. Specifically, investing in a movie and not getting much from it. This actress also revealed what has kept her going in this movie industry, and that is consistency. It is something she learned from her grandmother. She learned that when a goldsmith keeps digging in a particular place, he will keep digging because he knows he wants to get something from it. And when he keeps digging without relenting, one day it will materialize. Mumia is inconsistent in this movie industry, and she confessed that her consistency has finally been paying off. Also, on her personality, this show actress revealed why she's seen has been rash. When you're brought up by a man, your kind of mentality will be different. She was not pampered. Her father has always been there for her financially. But you have to do a lot yourself. Without seeking for help or assistance. When she was in primary school, she used to go to the principal's office to pay her fees by herself. So that's the way she was brought up, and that has been a part of her. She became very independent at a very early age. She's fearless. At times, there are places or instances that she's expected to behave or act feminine. But she always acts masculine. Right now, she's trying to get it right. Fame is also helping her to reshape her personality. Also, she stated in an interview that fame makes her feel that hard work pays. It makes her happy and makes her want to work harder in life. Fame has also restricted women from doing a whole lot of things. On normal day, when she hears things about herself, she goes to the person and go physical. And then with fame, you have to adjust your character. So this is a little bit about the Super Actress with me, Toriola. We have come to the end of this episode where the Super Actress with me, Toriola revisit our fight with her former best friend, Shi. We hope you enjoyed this episode and like to new things, subscribe and hit the bell icon for daily content.